Hello everyone, this is a review on the Monster Bass Portable Speaker with Enhanced Bass. It's a little 3 watt speaker that is very small, easily uh, portable, completely rechargeable. And we're going to show you how it sounds and compare it um, to some of the other speakers are kind of this class. So again, I say it's highly portable. You can see my hand, you can see the speaker. And it, it kind of extends out to give you a bit of a bass resonance chamber. You can fold it in and make it even smaller to the point where it's uh, maybe about 50% bigger than a golf ball. So it can fit in your pocket and easily fit in your backpack or briefcase. So here you can see it on and we're going to listen to hear how it sounds next. Okay, now we're going to listen to how it actually uh, sounds. Now, uh, <laughs> I apologize for this, but I have to use music that's in the public domain, things that, uh, um, that you can use without any kind of copyright infringement. So I'm going to use a Yankee Doodle Dandy. And again, it'll give you an idea of how it sounds. It has horns in it and some bass, so it'll give you an overall feel for the speaker. So. Alright, so again, not not a lot there, but to give you a little bit of a, a feel for it. So now we'll try the Battle Hymn of the Republic. More public domain music, so. Now, one thing to uh, talk about is that this is louder than my iPad. The overall volume is probably at least twice as loud as my iPad. Again, it's a 3 watt speaker. It has one driver, so it's not in stereo. Um, but uh, that's kind of typical for these type of speakers, especially at this price point. It really is a pretty good value. So uh, we kind of looked about how uh, big it is, and uh, now I'll show you some of the other speakers kind of in the same in the same uh, category. Okay, here are three speakers that are all kind of in the same category. The Kenovo, which is in the identical category. You've got the uh, Monster Bass, and then you've got a Poid speaker. And I'll start with the Poid speaker. It, it is a little different because it is Bluetooth enabled and it has a speakerphone. And frankly, I think it actually probably sounds a little bit better, but it's about twice the price. So uh, if you're willing to spend more than 2x, actually, uh, the Poid speaker is something you'd want to consider. Um, in this price range, you have the one from Kenovo and the, uh, the Monster Bass. And they both sound pretty good. Um, again, you're not going to necessarily uh, start uh, running a DJ dance party with, with either one, but they do sound pretty good. Um, and actually, they probably have equivalent bass as well. So... Um, you know, small speakers, you can't really expect a lot in terms of bass, but they do sound better than you would expect. Um, um, the uh, Monster Bass is probably a little bit at a lower price point, so it's definitely worth consideration. Okay, so coming out of the box, what do you get with the Monster Bass speaker? Well, you obviously get the speaker. You also get a small cloth carrying case. You get uh, the, the USB with the mini USB on the other side for charging. You also get a... Um, auxiliary input extender, which is nice because the cable actually built into the speaker is only about maybe four inches long. You'll also see here that there's an additional uh, auxiliary input, and what that'll do is that allows you to connect more than one speaker together so that you get a little bit more sound. Now, it doesn't necessarily give you stereo, it gives you dual mono, but again, that is a way to kind of improve the overall sound of the speaker and make it a little bit louder, maybe a little bit more depth overall. So uh, this is what you get out of the box. Okay, final verdict on the Monster Bass portable speaker with enhanced bass. I'm going to give it four to four and a half stars. It sounds good uh, for the size. Again, you, you can't expect a speaker that will fit in the palm of your hand necessarily to blast you out of a room. Uh, it does sound good for the size. It is completely rechargeable. And, and at this price point, you get really everything you would expect. Um, if you want to go to a little bit more expensive speaker, you can find things that are Bluetooth and whatnot. But uh, if, you're, if you're okay with a nice little portable speaker um, that you can fit in, in your backpack with ease and, and you can use an auxiliary input and you don't have to have something that's Bluetooth. This is definitely worth consideration and, uh, and, uh, and it's as good really as anything in that class. So with that I'm going to give it four to four and a half stars.